And we're right in the middle of severe season, weather season, as we are watching these storms pop off. And we really aren't seeing any signs of slowing down. Tornado activity across the United States is well above normal this year, with March and April both seeing multiple outbreaks. The southeast and the Mississippi Valley have been hit the hardest, but the threat, it is far from over. Today, severe weather is targeting the Ohio Valley and the Mid-Atlantic. So joining us now to break down the season so far is Dr. Jana Hauser, Associate Professor of Atmospheric Sciences at The Ohio State University. Dr. Hauser, I want to thank you for joining us this evening uh, as we get ready to undergo more severe weather expected. What do you think is the driving force for this uptick in tornadic activity across the country? Well, looking at the current scenario right now, we're just kind of entering a phase where we have energy in our jet stream that comes in the form of waviness. So when we have waves in the jet stream, that means that we have energy that can be transferred towards the development of, of thunderstorms and some of those becoming severe. So right now we're just in a transitional phase where we're kind of coming out of the last period of relatively low activity and that we're just bringing that energy back in and that's going to be associated with that uptick that we see now and then uh, in the next couple days as well. And that concerns me because we are fairly early in the severe weather season. We had an outbreak in both March and April. What trends are you seeing for the rest of this spring season? Could this kind of level of activity continue well into May, where we usually see our peak of the severe weather? Yeah, you know, it's kind of hard to use the predecessory months and weeks of activity to gauge the future, uh, at least in terms of those numbers. Some of the years that we've seen that have ended up being the most prolific years in the Mar May to June timeframe end up having a little bit of a slower start. Obviously, that's not the case with this season where we've seen a lot of activity in March and April. It's not necessarily a guarantee that moving into the climatological maximum time of year, which is typically May into June, that will be guaranteed to see a continued uptick. But what I can say is that based on some of our longer term model trends, we're seeing kind of a periodic return of conditions that would be favorable for generating severe weather from the central plains all the way over uh, into the Tennessee uh, uh, Valley area into the Ohio River Valley area. And so it, it's kind of looking like we're going to have an ebb and a flow. So, you know, we'll have a couple days of severe weather followed by a lull, followed by another couple of days. Um, and from the, for the foreseeable future, at least taking us into kind of early to mid May, that trend appears to continue. Okay. And another hot topic that, you know, we've been hearing a lot over the last couple of years is the shifting of the tornado alley. Can you kind of explain what the driving force of this shift may be as we have been seeing storms pop up a little bit farther to the east, across the southeast, across the Mississippi Valley? How does this affect regions that are now seeing more of a frequent tornado activity? And what do you think is the cause of this shift? Yeah, so this is true. We are seeing an increase in the number of tornadoes, particularly in the southeastern United States. Um, and that's primarily attributable to winter weather outbreaks, or not so much winter weather in the terms of snow, but cold season tornado outbreaks. So we're seeing an increase in number in months such as January and February and into March, months that pr you know, prior to this, we would have expected to be kind of colder and have a lull in the severe weather. Um, we're not entirely 100% sure what's driving that uptick, um, but it is consistent consistent with a climate change scenario where we're having warmer Gulf of Mexico waters, um, and that's going to contribute to warmer, moist conditions um, across the southeastern United States, especially in advance of some of the vigorous low pressure systems that we tend to see develop over the wintertime months. So we end up seeing uh, an increase in the total number of tornadoes during those cold season months. And another thing I want to talk about before we let you go is that we are watching severe weather kind of blossom across the Ohio Valley and the mid-Atlantic once again today. So those regions are now under a threat. How do you view this event in context of severe weather season uh, that we've seen so far, these new regions that are kind of popping up a little bit more frequently than they have been in the past? Yeah, so there is some tendency for areas in both the northeastern U.S. and in the central uh, kind of Midwest areas of Iowa Illinois, Indiana, even over into Ohio, to be seeing uh, a little bit more of an increase in tornado numbers across the calendar year as well. Um, so what we're seeing right now sort of fits into that narrative as well. Um, in terms of the overall conditions associated with the expected weather today, those conditions are what I would say kind of intermediate. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a large scale violent tornado uh, imminent type of a situation, but the conditions are there and, and are, are kind of present in case of a kind of medium in between uh, situation where you could see some tornadoes developing out of the storms that we end up getting today, but not like a huge volatile threat. 
All right, we'll continue to watch the radar, but this was a great conversation, Dr. Jana Hauser with The Ohio State University. Thank you so much for joining us here on Fox Weather Now. Thank you, I appreciate it.